find something new here. I don't know if it'll turn out, if it'll suck, it'll be great. Maybe it'll be something I can start doing. Follow a lot of uh, guys on YouTube here. Um, watch their videos in the evening times, you know, trucking around. And thought I tried. I got a couple up, you know. All I have is my cell phone here to record all of, and uh, it seems to do a pretty good job. But I don't have a lot of memory on it. Usually, I can only get about 10, 15 minute videos because of pictures and whatnot on my phone. But I thought I'd just show you a little back road in Maryland here, headed to Pennsylvania. Castle to deliver a load of cement. Probably going to be two different videos here as I ain't got much time. I thought I'd show you this little windy road. Might show you another spot of where, uh, I don't know why, but a lot of cement trucks, when I say cement trucks, I mean uh, the bulk tankers, the, the powder part, not the liquid, or, you know, the ready mix part of it, I should say. They have a tendency to go into a turn a little too hot and roll them over. And we had two of our own company drivers that have been with us for a while last year. Uh, within a month of each other, roll them over. As far as I know, neither driver was hurt. They were out of one of our other terminals which I don't know them drivers. We see each other at stops and stuff, but don't really know them. So, I don't know. I might sound stupid talking here. I don't know how well you can hear me and so on and so forth. I guess I'll try it whenever I upload it and see what happens. have a lot of high-tech equipment like a lot of guys because I get a job that I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> Bad company to work for, but the pay is so up and down it's funny. Some days I make $200, $250, and some days I squeak by with about $125 a day, like today load over into D.C. this morning. I think that load made about 77. This load I'm doing right now pays about 60. Somewhere between 68, 70, or 58 and uh, 60 couple of hours. Depending on how heavy you are. Not a lot of money, but it is a very relaxed company to work for. I'm looking to get into maybe hauling some fuel or something. Went yesterday, took the day off, and been working on getting my eyes back. I successfully succeeded in doing that. I don't know if there's a whole lot more money in hauling fuel than what there is what I'm doing, but it's definitely got to be a lot more secure. On cement is weather permitting. We'll be busy probably the next couple of days to get to this little warm spot. It's cold this weekend. We won't be doing nothing probably. I might have a couple of days off, no work. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet for now. Just ride along. I'll let you know when we bump this turn here that people have a tendency to roll over. And if you did notice, the speed limit is 30 mile an hour. And this turn, the speed limit is 40 mile an hour. It's right where it picks up. And to my understanding, these couple drivers that rolled over was going... Uh, I think 55 and 58 mile an hour was the speeds that they recorded off our computer system we have in the truck here.
the curves and gets them. I'm doing about 36 mile an hour right now. Yeah, the speed limit turns 40 right here coming out of the turn. They roll right up on that bank here to the left. A lot of times I'll bounce off that and end up over here in this field to the right. I don't know, it don't look to me like it's that sharp of a turn, but I ain't ever had no trouble. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it guys, here's this four-way stop sign, see straight across there behind these van trailers, a bunch of bulk tankers. As you can see now I'm turning, you see that building there, looks like it's all burned up. It's one of our competitors. And to my understanding, some guys was welding inside. And, uh, I guess they had natural gas or propane gas for heat in there. Supposedly it sprung a leak or something and guys working in there didn't know they fired up the welder and the place went up. I haven't got a chance to talk to any of them guys. There's one guy I know over at Roll Well, but I ain't seen him for probably about eight, nine months. So matter of fact that might be him coming at us. Um, Anyway, we'll mosey on up to the stop here. I've only got a couple minutes of memory left on this. Uh, yeah, I've only got a couple minutes left on this uh, recording here, and I'll be done. So I hope it wasn't too awful bad. I hope you can hear me all right. I hope it wasn't too shaky. Just trying to use my phone, use a carrier off a window that really doesn't, you know, it's just one of them ones you buy at a truck stop there that you can use for phones or your GPS or whatever. And uh, just tried to mount it on there, just fashioned it up real quick. Like I said, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. But hopefully it's good enough that y'all can take a little ride with me and listen to me for a few minutes. If it works out, I'll start doing some videos. Y'all can listen to me whine. Be a typical dry baby truck driver. So, all right. I'm going to run this out. I think i got two minutes left. Enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching, guys.
trying to light a cigarette almost come across the line hitting me.